I'm a cinematographer by trade, but uh, I, I do have an obsession with finding ways to make my job uh, more efficient, add value for clients, for directors. And so I'm starting a series now where I can, sh where I'm going to share with you a couple of different tips and tricks of like, uh, and gear that, that makes my job easier, that adds, that seems like no, a no brainer for, for someone who's doing a lot of different kinds of work, or especially if you're working with a small crew or on a smaller budget. Um, these kinds of things are, I'm always really fascinated by the, 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 the technology that's coming out and ways of mixing and matching uh, new tools to, to make my job easier. Um, and so one of the things that I found recently is, I know these, these exist, these are something that have been around for a long time, um, but the, this 4K um, video capture device, it's, a, it's actually just a capture card that plugs into a USB-C port. Um, and this actually does 4K uncompressed um, output which is something a lot of the smaller dongles, I have, a, I have a whole bunch of the 1080p, you know, UVC, MJPEG dongles that compress the image a lot and they're super cheap. Um, and those are great for certain things. Like if you just want to stream one image, uh, you don't care the, about the quality that much. They're not great for monitoring because the, the quality is not very good. They're not great for, they're not amazing for streaming. They're fine for streaming. But, but, but the cool thing about this is that first of all, it's 4K. And second of all, um, iOS 17, uh, including iPad OS 17, uh, now has an option to use UVC, um, which is sort of a standardized, uh, it's usually more, uh, I mean, I think it's usually designed for PC, but uh, it, it's basically the standardized webcam format. This one supports one of the 420 uncompressed 4K uh, formats, which is the highest quality UVC capture that you can do. And what's cool about that is that it's actually supported by uh, new uh, by iPads that have uh, iPads and iPhones that have uh, 17 have uh, iOS 17 on them. So I have this, um, which I have one of. Uh, I have an iPad uh, Pro 12.9 inch, and uh, so now I can actually use that as a full, um, you know, uncompressed. I can ha add HDMI input to it. And not just that, but if I pair it with this, which is a um, relatively inexpensive um, multi-viewer. This is a 4K um, multi-viewer that allows me to input four different um, 1080p HDMI signals and, and view them um, as, you know, in all on the same screen. And then you can output that over 4K HDMI, which is great. I use this for director's monitors all the time, especially on like multi-cam work where um, I'm just doing wireless output from two cameras and wired from another couple cameras. And I want the director to be able to see everything on one monitor. This is actually really useful. And the cool thing about this, is it has a remote that I, that, you know, if the director wants to switch through, they can actually kind of cut, they can see how things cut together in real time by just clicking one of the buttons and switching between cameras or switching to the multi-view. Um, so you can actually, you technically, you can kind of use this as a, a cheap s switcher. You could even, you could technically, you know, plug that, that into this. Uh, if you plug the, if you plug this, uh, multi-viewer into this capture card, you can get, you can, first of all, you can turn any computer or iPad into a, uh, quad view, uh, uncompressed monitor that view that can uh, display and monitor 4k uncompressed um, signals from uh, four different cameras at the same time well one camera in 4k or four cameras each in 1080p uh, which is a pretty cool capability to have if you're traveling and you need a you need a monitor on the on, in the field especially a director's monitor or multi-cam monitor um, so that can be really useful and then the other thing you can do with that is you can even switch in real time like you could technically you could use i mean i don't i don't know why you use this and for switching really since uh, you probably would want to go to a computer anyway and the computer could do the switching but you plug this into obs um, and you can get and you could have four com camera inputs right into your computer um, you just have to pan and scan them for each input and you could have four 1080p uncompressed uh, video sources 
um, into like a laptop, which is pretty hard to do otherwise. If you, I don't know if you've ever tried plugging more than one uh, capture card into uh, um, into one into one laptop, but it usually doesn't work. Past me, you can you can maybe plug two in, and more than that, things get a little finicky. Um, so this is actually really cool because it it uses only one port on the computer, and you can capture four different uh, HDMI inputs. And, and you, could, you could potentially switch between them either through the switcher, through the multi-viewer, or in OBS, you could um, grab each, each sec section of the 4K capture, and then you could use those each as an input. And so you have four cameras going into your computer. And this is like, this thing cost me $30 on eBay. Uh, I got it, I guess it was used, but it seems like a crazy deal. I, I specifically got this one because I like that it has uh, loop out. So I can, I can also, when I'm using this as director's monitor, I can also uh, loop out to uh, like a wireless, um, wireless transmitter or something. So I can also view the multi-view on my, on my phone. Or, you know, if I, if for example, the director is, you know, running this into their director's monitor, uh, but then I need to also output to, you know, a wireless, uh, maybe like I, I just got a um, pilot fly um, eagle eye which sends, uh, or, or, you know, anything like that. There's a Cine, Cine View, what is it, the Cine Eye, or by Axoon, or there's all these different devices that, send thing, that can send the image straight to your phone. So now I can get all four images. If I'm operating one of the cameras, I can still on my phone see, see all the other cameras on my phone. Um, so having that loop out is really useful. Also, I got this because uh, I heard that, you know, there's some small ones, there's a little dongles that uh, a lot of the 4K ones overheat easily um, and aren't built that well. So this one's nice. It has, uh, you can tell it's has a metal, it has some metal in it and it has a lot better cooling, I think. It has a much bigger chassis, uh, which usually means better cooling. Um, and then, yeah, so this is a pretty cool combo to have. It's really easy to throw in a bag, um, if, especially if I'm traveling. I can have a multi viewer, I can have, uh, I can use my iPad as a monitor if I need to. Um, and I can even use it use it to with the, with a computer. I can yeah, suddenly have a switching system. So this is thirty bucks, and this is maybe a hundred or something, um, which is pretty cheap for a multi viewer. So if you, you have a four input capture card for what one hundred and thirty bucks, basically. Um, I don't know if you bought these retail; they're probably a little bit more. But um, I know this is based on this is like a Chinese company, EasyCap. This is called the EasyCap Game Drop Game Doc Ultra. Um, what is it, EasyCap 326X uh, in this case. You know they make a couple different ones in different form factors, but they're basically the same. So the thing that's better about this than uh, not just being cheaper than, for example, an ATEM Mini um, is that it does a lot more different things and you can kind of separate those, pro those uh, functions. So for example, this can capture 4K, uh, an ATEM Mini Pro ISO can't capture 4K. It can do a whole bunch of, it can do four um, 1080p inputs and it can capture those um, in certain varying degrees of compression. But um, this can actually, you know, between these two together, I can, you know, if I just need a multi-viewer, I can take this. And it's a really simple, really easy multi-viewer um, that doesn't need anything else. And I can also output it to a 4K monitor and get basically the equivalent of a 4K of four 1080p monitors all in one screen um, for all with different cameras, for example, on them, uh, which you can't do with an A10 Mini Pro ISO. Um, and then the other thing is this also supports 4K. So you could also capture, for, you know, you can, if you just use this, you could capture 4K from your camera uncompressed, which you can't do on a A10 Mini Pro ISO either um, or an A10 Mini Pro. Pro. So that's kind of cool. And then, I mean, if you, you, you have to pair it with a computer to do any of the uh, streaming functionality, but I mean, that's like everyone has a computer and everyone has, especially now you can get a small computer and those are keep getting better. And you, you're like, it seems silly to have additional, fun pay for that additional functionality and then carry a device that doesn't do some of the things you need it to do. So between these two things, I get a lot of that same functionality and I can get it for almost you know, it's only over a little over a hundred dollars and I can, and it does a lot more stuff.
and I can split them apart for what I only need. If I just need to capture 4K or use my iPad as a 4K monitor, I can use that. Um, if I only want to use my, um, if I only want to use, you know, add quad viewing uh, capability to a 4K monitor or even to a 1080p monitor, I can use this. Um, and it's super easy to use. So that's kind of useful. So truthfully, I haven't used this on a job yet, but I mean, I did some tests with it and it's pretty cool that it does, un I mean, I looked at the, the input in the, um, on an iPad and on OBS on my PC laptop, for example, and works really well. I mean, it's full uncompressed uh, 4K, which is, um, which is nice to have. And you can actually tell the, I mean, can, you can really tell the difference because you can actually turn it, put it in 1080p mode, you can put it in 4K mode, UHD mode. Um, and you can you can definitely tell the difference from the camera input. In case you're wondering about the CinemaScope aspect ratio, um, uh, I, I'm shooting this on my Sony FX3 uh, using the Great Joy uh, 1.35x anamorphic adapter, um, and the taking lens is a Voigtlander Ultron 40 millimeter uh, pancake lens, uh, which is an f/2. Um, this is wide open. Uh, I figure out might as well use it try it try it out this is one way to try it out is put it in one of the, is shoot a video with it um, let me know what you think um, I'm always trying to come up with new ideas new kinds of uh, explore different kinds of gear new kinds of technology that help me help help me improve the way that I work and make me more efficient add value to my customers um, add value to my directors and clients um, and and help me help help me so that I don't have to say no when someone has an idea I want to be able to say yeah I have a way of doing that um, you know, and it's in, you know, using new technology, using new ideas and new ways of working. Um, I'm really, I always get a little, I get a little obsessed about finding new solutions to problems that, you know, people don't always know about or don't, don't, uh, don't realize that they need an answer to. Well, thanks for watching my video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything I've said, uh, or if you have any ideas for my next video. Um, or future videos. I have a lot of ideas. I'm trying to find time to make make all those videos, but um, I just, you know, I'm, I'm always looking for new solutions. I have all these problems I'm trying to solve when it comes to my job that, you know, that make me want to um, look for new answers and new ways of working and that can, you know, that I think could change the way I work or at least make my job easier. So if there's anything that um, you want to see, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks.